robots are kind of electrical, mechanical, software, and a lot of fun mixed together, so the robots were naturally part of Olin's curriculum from day one. Olin's robotics program is fairly unique in that we're undergraduate only. Most universities have a large graduate school, and the robotics is done by masters and PhD students with some undergraduates helping along the way. I ended up coming to Olin uh, because of Dave and Drew and the robotics lab and the opportunity for research here. One of the things Dave and Drew like to say is that they don't necessarily want the students who know the most, they want students who are passionate. The students work on all parts of the project. Uh, they work on design and fabrication of the robot, they work on the programming, they work on sensor selection, um, validation and testing. I don't require that the students have prior experience with any of this. Um, my attitude is that if you are willing to learn, I'm willing to teach you. Olin's pretty broad-banded. We're working in almost all sectors of the robotics industry. Most of these projects are funded directly by external partners, and they will end up in production and in actual use in a reasonable time frame. Focusing on a need is it's how engineering works in the real world. Uh, we actually, here in the robotics lab, we work on contract. Uh, so it's it's the real world, right? Uh, it's not even close to the real world, it is real world engineering. Having real world problems and real researchers come to us and ask for tools here has been at once both amazing as an experience, but also very stressful and it's, it's, like it's a big responsibility. The two areas we're focusing on now in my robotics group are in the area of youth social robots, and that's large groups of robots working and commingling with large groups of people, and with undersea robots for exploration. We have 17 drones. They range from teeny tiny little a few ounce drones that are good for practicing with to great big heavy 25, 30 pound drones that we use to carry things like a DSLR camera. We were asked about could we fly over whales and image whales and could we collect whale blow otherwise known as whale snot to help marine biologists analyze the whales, tell if they're gaining weight, losing weight, are they healthy, etc. So that started a program. We have five drones that can land on and take off from seawater. So we could fly them over the ocean, land, film underwater, take off and fly back to a boat. The students struck me with their willingness to try anything. They're not afraid to take a risk. They're not afraid to just try something out and see what happens. A lot of places I've been to, they're so afraid of failure that they won't even take the chance. But at Olin, they're so enthusiastic about the problem, they don't care if it succeeds or fails, they're willing to go back and do it again. Because it's very self-motivated and self-driven, you get to choose how much time you want to invest, you get to choose what you want to do, and if there's something new, you can do it. I wanted to find somewhere where people were passionate about robotics, and it wasn't just something they did to get a job or something like that, and that's what you can find here. Olin Robotics students are already having a pretty good impact on the robotics industry. Most of our local robotics companies have Olin alumni working for them now. We've been placing Olin students in the robotics industry for close to 10 years. Most of the students we've placed in the industry are still working in it 10 years later.